This is still the best Blitz in Madden 23, and I'm going to show you how to run it in this video. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're in the 46 playbook. We'll be running the dollar three two DB Fire two. I'm going to show you how to run it really effectively as well. If you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description below. This is also a really really good defense for defending any kind of compression uh, based formation. What we're going to be doing with this is we're going to go into our coaching adjustments. We're going to turn our auto alignment to base, and then that's pretty much all you need to do. I like to put my zone coverage on match. And then you want to make sure that you don't have any defensive line abilities like edge threat or anything like that down here on the edge. So we're just going to go ahead and just sub in some backup D linemen. And then you need to have corners on the outside. So DB Fire 2, literally the setup, all we're going to do is we are simply going to take this cornerback that is not going to press up. And we're just going to walk him down, put him on a QB contain. And then I like to go ahead and basically user this linebacker just like this. And then we're going to crash our line down. And what you're going to notice is we're going to get incredible pressure off of both edges, looping through B-gaps, all kinds of incredible pressure out of this defense. Now, another way to run this defense is we're just going to press on the outside. That's literally all we're going to do. We're going to stand right here. And what you're going to notice is this blitz is going to not be as effective if we do it that way. Part of the reason this is the case is because the blitzing system in this formation is actually different depending on which side you're blitzing from. The right side formation, you're going to see here when we walk this guy down and then we put him on a contain and we crash our D-line down, all of a sudden you're going to notice significantly more success blitzing off of the edge. Now this blitz is also really good against the gun bunch, which I will show you that real quick as well. And it, this this also is really good against tight slots, tight slots halfback weak, any tight formation. This is really good against really anything. It's one of the best blitzing defenses in the game, if not the best blitzing defense. So if you want to run this against Bunch, you're going to see here, see how that guy goes off the right. So now we're going to move this guy down. We're going to put him on a contain, crash our D line down, and then we're going to stand just like this. And what you're going to notice is we're going to get incredible pressure off that left side every single time. Now, again, just like in tight, all you have to do, you can run in two different ways. You can also press this play. And what you're going to notice is now this pressure is going to scream in off of the left side. Now, another thing that you're seeing is we do have potential to get defensive line pressure right through the right through the A-gap. And I'll show you one other thing you can do if you want to have a little bit more coverage. So what you're going to see here, try to do something like this. As you can see, the pressure comes in. Now, if you want to have more coverage, all you need to do is literally just zone the left side guy. You're still going to get this, or zone the right side guy. You're still going to get this left side pressure every single time. And now you have extra coverage to the right side. What they have to do to block this blitz is they have to block their running back. Now, what you will, what I will say here is if they do block their running back, sometimes this can pick up the pressure, but a lot of times it's still going to loop off of the right side. Now, the way that you counter if they want to block their running back, all you have to do is simply send your linebacker right down the middle. So now you're going to have a six-man pressure against uh, six-man protection, and as you can see, we're getting pressure through the B-gap. This is how to run dollar right now, at least in my opinion. From a pressure perspective, this is still the best defense in the game. Another cool little trick, by the way, is to actually do something like this. You can basically turn dollar into kind of a makeshift um, little three through five defense. And if you do that, what will happen is a lot of times you'll be able to get really good pressure off the right side with these loopers. So you'll see right here, do something like this, and then you can have the pressure come off of both edges as well. So there's a ton of ways to run dollar post patch. There's three different different options, but really one of the biggest keys in my opinion uh, to running dollar right now is the ability to stack these linebackers. I think that it's super helpful, but then at the same time have this slot corner that is gonna be able to get pressure as well. So this is how I like to run dollar. If you wanna learn my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure that you join the patreon we're going to be updating it with a little bit of a new coverage scheme a little bit new pressure scheme as well post patch it's always good to keep things up to date for you guys and every time there's a patch we will be doing updates in our patreon so make sure that you sign up for that it's only ten dollars to become a member it's not only going to teach you the blitzing concepts we're going to teach you the coverage adjustments and how to actually defend some of the best formations in madden 23 thanks for watching if you want to click if you want to sign up for the patreon head down to the description and click the link down below